Hey everybody, Ron Gunner here, and I want to do a video response to a lot of questions I've been getting asked. Um, people are seeing the accuracy that we are getting both at steel plate, uh, indoor range shoots, bullseye indoor range, and even some IDPA. <clears throat> so, after all these questions over and over and over, I thought I would show you what makes what's been called uh, to us our magic bullet and just to show you here's a bunch of reloaded nines here's 45s now the only only reason these are green um, these were all loaded on an RCBS Pro 2000 the green means it was done since it was converted over to the um, instead of manual indexing auto indexing these were the manual this was auto these were all done on a Hornaday lock and load and I want to show you as far as cases go um, <laughs> you'll see people buying Starline I'm just going to grab a couple here and hopefully they're different types. I'm not even looking, I'm just grabbing some. Uh, most of 45s, maybe. Let me get them out of here. Alright, if you look at this, there should be at least two different types of brass. How well that'll you'll see that. Um, brass wise, okay. I used mixed range brass. I do not buy Starline brass. I do not buy brass at all. I get all my brass at the range. Be indoor, outdoor. It all gets washed through a sonic cleaner and. Um, it all, if it needs tumbled, it'll get tumbled. Excuse me. <laughs> if it needs tumbled, it'll get tumbled. Uh, but it all goes through the sonic cleaner. <clears throat> and then I'll go from there. Resize it in the machine. Obviously, the uh, RCBS is progressive. The 9mm is set up on a Hornaday lock and load. I don't switch them. The, the, the 2000 does a strictly 45s and the lock and load does all my 9s. So the brass can be anything. Now it just so happened the 9mm you see here are all the nickel plated brass. Uh, these all came from the indoor range. Now there's different kinds of nickel, Hornaday, Spear, but it's all the nickel coated. But, <clears throat> so that, that answers your brass. Uh, again, it gets, all of it will get washed in a sonic cleaner. And then if it's really, really dirty before the sonic cleaner, it'll go through a tumbler, then into the sonic cleaner. So brass is mixed. I don't buy new brass. I've hardly ever bought new brass, only when I buy a new box here and there. Um, Winchester sent me bags, uh, probably 10 bags of new brass, which matter of fact is still sitting over there on the floor or underneath the bench on the shelf. It's never been used yet. Uh, I guess when it gets really bad for range brass and hard to get, I'll break those open. But I don't buy brass. So then you look at your next component, your primer, okay? For primers, I use Winchester. Small pistol and large pistol. 
and I like how they're done. What I like is when, unlike some other uh, primers, when you open the lid, they're all different ways up and down. With Winchester, usually 100% of the time, they're all in their right way. So that is the Winchester primers I use. If anybody's asking. Again, this is a video response to a bunch of questions I've been getting asked. Uh, the people who take the reloading class have been, I couldn't even tell you how many people have done that so far now over the years. Um, especially when the ammo crisis and everything was panic buying, we were having hundreds of people call. Uh, and it was just a class after class after class. I mean, there was thousands total for that year. <clears throat> and they all saw this. I mean, we went into everything, but they all wanted to know our, quote, secret recipe. So, so now you got the brass, and you got the Winchester primers, and then you're going to get into, well, what powder do you use? Okay. Recently... I would like to say that uh, Hodgden has been a sponsor of mine for 11 years now. And I have used exclusively Hodgden brand when everything they own, the companies they own too. Uh, so recently I have just started using the CFE pistol. From Hodgden. I'll set that right. Let's see. We'll put these over here. You're going to see something here with these in a minute. So I've been using the CFE uh, recently in my 40 calibers Winchester Auto Comp. Now you may say, wait a minute, you just said Hodgden is your sponsor. Well, Hodgden happens to own Winchester powders. And then, for the 45s, an old standby, IMR PB. Now, same thing. IMR, that's not Hodgden. Well, yes, it is. Hodgden owns IMR and Winchester powders. So, all three of these are under the Hodgden umbrella of ownership. Uh, 45's been exclusively PB but they that is now done with they quit making it so we're trying to find another thing of this matter of fact uh, this one a friend of mine bought for me at a store and brought it to me because uh, he was buying up every, I showed him my recipe for 45's and he absolutely loved it so he went out and bought every pound of PB he could find and he ended up giving me one. He may give me two. So anyhow, Hodgden IMR Winchester. Uh, now these are just what I'm using for pistol. Now I also use the Hodgden umbrella for my rifles also. So I'll set these right here. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my son. My uh, the nine millimeters. Now you may say this is a little different, because it used to be 700X was an IMR powder. Well, now it's listed under the Hodgden name. Same powder, just different name. So my my nine millimeters are 700X. And CFE pistol. 40 calibers or auto comp. 45 is PB. And there again is the Winchester primers. What's left in this box? Let's see what five. Four. There's 400 left in this box. So, and what's funny is 
Winchester is also a sponsor. I should say Winchester Primers. So it's it's weird because people think this is the same, even though they're both Winchester. Again, this is Hodgson. This is a different one. <clears throat> so now we're gonna get into we know the mixed brass, Winchester primers, one of these four powders, and now we're gonna talk bullets. I have tried literally over the years every type bullet you could possibly imagine for pistol. I have used berries uh, I can't think what the other uh, oh there was one that was strictly lead bullet I can't remember what it is I used to try uh, I tried making my own lead bullets used that for a long time didn't like them I don't like shooting lead through the barrels plain lead through the barrels uh, I tried everything and then I was at a store and bought a few boxes of this particular brand and used them and really really was amazed at the accuracy I was getting from them I contacted them just as I did with which hot with Hodgden uh, prior to that I used unique and stuff like that and well let me go oh, since I'm on here let me do this um, I use unique and all the other brands <clears throat> and after I had used uh, the, my initial few pounds of Hodgson that I went and bought I contacted them and talked to Chris Hodgson and uh, he'd sent me a few pounds of stuff to use and I absolutely loved it and then I talked to him a few more times and they ended up becoming a sponsor again uh, it was been 11 years ago now and uh, I have a, a shipment coming in from them now, matter of fact, waiting on it to be dropped off. So, the bullets, like I said, I tried berries, uh, which is a lot of people were using. Uh, a lot of people pour their own lead. I want to say Oregon Trail, but I'm not sure. And then I found guys using Delta Precision bullets. And, uh, of course they all sweared by everything they were using or everything they made <clears throat> and I would come in and shoot and they're just like well what what are you, what are you using and then to take the the human factor out of it uh, there's a ransom rest there so we were putting everything in the rest and that way we were getting true accuracy of your combination and they were just blown away with what I was doing and then they're like well I've never seen bullets that were like dished out at the bottom but everything's all copper or copper washed so that's when I told them well I was trying Rainier's Rainier Ballistics So, right in here. I was trying Rainier Ballistics. Here is a box of Rainier Ballistics. If you look at it, you can see it. You will see these at all Cabela's. And these are what I use these are 45 caliber 200 grain flat point that's all I use in my 45's I've got the best accuracy out of the flat points so then here's an older box that I it used to be white, so you still may see some white boxes. All white boxes. 
but same thing, Rainier Ballistics. And this is what you get with them. Now if you'll notice, there's a dip in here. They do a restrike when they're making the bullet, and I do believe they're the only ones that do that. And if you notice, that is 100% covered, copper washed. It's not jacketed, it's washed. They get tumbled through copper uh, solvents, and they get copper around it 100%. So this is your best bullet you're going to get uh, if you're afraid of lead, or afraid of lead har harming you, or even your indoor range, wherever you shoot in the world, your indoor range may say no lead bullets or no bullets with exposed lead. Well, that's when you go with Rainiers. And I'm going to tell you, even the 9 millimeters, mixed brass and all, flat point. Now I hate giving my flat point secret away here, but I will for the sake of this argument. Again, it's 45s and 9s. The 40s are also flat point. <clears throat> but uh, I started getting the best scores with this combination and the Rainier Ballistics. So everybody's kind of like, wait a minute. And the Delta Precision people were extremely hard to convince. They didn't think that there was nothing else better than or better than their Delta Precision. Because they paid more for Delta Precision, which do cost more than Rainier, by the way. They're thinking, well, it costs more, it's a better bullet. We're going to get better scores. Uh, so the one guy, I had that, everybody convinced, uh, when I do the class, uh, we have two ranges, indoor and an outdoor range we can go to and shoot. And uh, they can actually try them, see them, they're loading, and they see for themselves. I used to have a box of 500 berry bullets that I would take and let them try those against these. Uh, and even I have a pound of Unique and uh, any other primer but Winchester and show them the difference the combination makes and see and they can see for themselves which one got them the better score or the better accuracy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyhow, they uh, the Delta Precision guys just wanted to argue with me. You know, they paid so much more that that's got to be a better bullet. Until we hit the ransom rest, and then that was when about ninety percent of them were like, "Okay, you sold me." Well, <clears throat> one guy uh, who was diehard Delta Precision, and he would take. Each K, he usually bought Starline, which there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to buy Starline brass, go ahead. I'm, I'm just here to tell you that there's nothing wrong with range brass. So this guy was shooting 9mm. this for a second. So what he would do when he got home, usually it was just Starline brass. That was it. I, I couldn't get him to take range brass, uh, anything. Star line, and what he would do is each each case was tr whether it was new or not, it was trimmed to perfect spec from his book. Then he would put them in piles how they weighed the brass itself, just the brass. And I know this is nickel plated, but uh, if he had one, it was you know point zero zero one more or less. He had piles of all of them in those match weight sets. And then he would do the same with the bullets. He would weigh each bullet, and that's how he matched everything up. I come to find out, tried to talk to the guy for over a year. 
Come to find out he was a bench rest rifle shooter who got out of that, sold all his gear, sold his rifle, sold everything, got out of it, and then after a few years um, break, decided to get into pistol shooting. Well, he was approaching reloading for pistol the exact same way he was for rifle, and I kept telling him, you're wasting a lot of time, it doesn't make a difference. And look how dramatic is that, shutting down like that on purpose. I'd like to say I did that on purpose, but I didn't. Um, he just wouldn't listen. I finally got him to take some range brass, but he did the same thing. All Winchester here, all Federal here, all PMC here. And then there were subgroups. This weighs this much, this weighs this much, this weighs this much, this much within the PMC or within the Winchester. And I told him, I said, yeah, you're, then everything went through a trimmer. And I said, you're you're wasting your time. He had a single stage loader and it would take him all day, literally eight hours to load 50 rounds. And 50 rounds was, was all he would load at a time. He would come to the range and shoot, shoot 50 rounds, and then he'd be done. So one day, I went to him and I took, I loaded a hundred nine millimeters with my, at that time, it was 700x these right here 124 flat point Rainiers Winchester primers mixed brass shot one time uncleaned no trimming no nothing I loaded a hundred of them I gave them to him this guy is now a steel plate shooter and what he would do uh, is go over there and he's trying to get everyone in in one hole as much as he could so he he, he had that uh, rifle bench rest mentality going on he's shooting steel plate I said you know your smallest one is four inch so if you can get them all in in the size of a quarter you're gonna hit your ball you're gonna hit the plate <clears throat> so I gave him I said here here's a box of a hundred he shot 15 of them offhand, 50 feet, size of a dime. He's like, holy crap. So he shut the box. He didn't want to waste them. He wanted to save them for the next steel plate shoot that coming Wednesday. He went to the steel plate shoot that Wednesday and took first place and won. With my st and I told him, I said, I said, would you pick everything up when you were done? He's like, oh, yeah, because he has a brass catcher he wears on his hand as he's shooting. I said, did you notice anything? He goes, no, I didn't look at them yet. I said, every one of those was mixed brass, uncleaned, and untrimmed. I said, I hope I just proved a point to you. Well, I did. And since then, he went to Cabela's and bought 30,000. This one guy, at one time, bought 30,000 Rainier ballistic bullets uh, went and bought 30,000 primers and a bunch of 700x and now he has switched to CFE pistol so I'm going to throw in some pictures at the end of this video this was this was I don't know it I even write it right on it right here so it's on the shelf. I can just grab and see what it is. Here you go. There's the 200, 200 grain flat point right here. You can still see the restrike in each one. They do it in. I don't care what caliber it is. Look, nine millimeter, 45. They both have that that uh, concaved base restrike technology. I'm telling you. Well, let me finish the story about the, the bullets. I used them, bought a bunch, used them, loved them. Contacted Rainier, uh, talked to the uh, marketing director, Shane, at that time. Now he's been promoted. Uh, and Rainier became a sponsor and has been ever since. So this is all I use exclusively Rainier, Hodgden, Winchester, IMR, Winchester,
Winchester and the brass is just mixed brass. I have proven it over and over and over again to shooters at steel plate matches, IDPA in this area, reloading classes, and just general shooters that we have come to the club twice a week that you do not have to go through all that stuff that bench rest rifle shooters go through to make a round for pistol. You just need to have the best components for one, the ability to test your loads tailoring to your gun because each gun shoots different. You can buy two, uh, there's, here's a, here's a M&P uh, mat, there's a Glock mat, and here's an XDM mat back here. You can buy two XDMs, two Glocks, two M&Ps in one right after another serial number wise. I mean, they're built right one after the next, and they're both going to shoot different. In this case, you have six different pistols, all six of them would shoot this particular bullet a little bit different. You have to be able to tailor your load, test your load, to get it to you what to what you want. Now I know not everybody can afford a five hundred or six hundred dollar ransom rest. Um, there's ways around that. You can buy one that you, you get your hands, your forearm lays on, your hands still. You can use that. See if where you're shooting, if if they have one, you can rent or find somebody. Join a club, find somebody that has one. See if you can rent it or if they can do it for you while you're there. Try something. And then also buy a chronograph. Chrono your loads. Ransom rest. Shoot them at first if possible. Use some kind of rest to get sighted, to get going. And you'll know when you reach the ultimate load. Now out of many different bullet types, that's the best. And I'm not going to say it's just my opinion. Rainier's growing in leaps and bounds. There's a lot of shooters. You look on uh, a lot of the IDPA shooters and the IPSC shooters and all that, you're going to start seeing the Rainier Ballistics logo a lot more on shirts. I have two that I wear when I shoot uh, from Rainier, and so it's great big across the back as they're the, the big sponsor on it. <clears throat> and... Winchester, you could try CCI if you want to, but Winchester primers, I, and it, you know what's funny? If I take this load and get this exact case in here, which I'm sure there's more than the other one, more than that, loaded identical with a CCI and a Winchester, I get the accuracy I want exactly with the Winchester. Every time I put a CCI primer in, if I try it to prove it to people, they always shoot high and left. Same load, Winchester's dead nut, CCI shoots it high and left every stinking time. So you have to, once you get your load worked out with what you want, you're going to have to stick to that. No variation whatsoever. And that's when you're going to get your accuracy. That's when you're going to get your shooting ability a lot better than it is. That's when you're going to start winning matches or winning competitions. But I'm telling you right now, if you want, if you're worried about any type of lead or any type of lead explosion, ex exposure, exposure, or any type of range that says, "Hey, you can't have lead bullets here or exposed lead," check out right here. And I swear to God, I got my best results. I get my best results with Rainier Ballistics, Winchester Primers, Hodgson brand powders and mixed brass. That's the key. Mixed brass works fine. Hey, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, been out on the road a lot and a lot of it by myself so I can't video or take pictures of myself as I'm doing anything. Uh, but I've been around, been everywhere, all over the eastern side. Matter of fact, just did a couple uh, of uh, seminars over in the Dayton area. Dayton, one in Dayton, Ohio, one in Indianapolis. Uh, uh, let's see, the Indianapolis one was on reloading. No, 
the Dayton, Ohio one was on reloading. The Indianapolis one was on actually uh, prepping. <clears throat> so anyhow, I know I've said it before, and I apologize for it, but I'm trying to find someone to do an introduction for me. One of the really cool uh, computer-generated introductions for the beginning where it lists all the sponsors. I'd love to have where each sponsor's logo like comes on the screen and blows up. Then the next one's underneath of it, something like that. Uh, just something really neat. Uh, until then, I do what I personally can do on my laptop, which as far as that goes isn't much. And I know it's been probably six months since I've done the video. And that has been on uh, the last one, if I remember correctly, was this 1022 ATI build with the Tactical Solutions Barrel. Uh, I have more ATI stocks and stuff to show. Uh, I'm going to do more videos on reloading, actual reloading. Uh, I will end this now, but I'm going to throw in some pictures and you'll see what's going on with some of the equipment. Remember, uh, the RCBS machine is for the 45s, the Hornaday machine is for the 9s, the Dillon is for the 40s. Thanks, talk to you later. And be sure, please, I just gave you the key to the kingdom here. I don't know what you're loading, however you're reloading, but get a hold of Hodgson Winchester powders or IMR powders. Check out, go to Cabela's, pick up a box of rain, just pick up a box of 500. Try them. See what you can come up with. I guarantee you, you're going to get sold on Rainier Ballistics, Winchester primers, and Hodgson powders. Guarantee it, you'll get the best shots you ever had. I'll end this now. I'm going to put some photos at the bottom of it. Talk to you later.